Instead of preparing for the Christmas holidays, funerals are being arranged for the victims of Friday's shooting rampage in Newtown. Tonight, the U.S. president is making his way to Connecticut to help the families cope with this indescribable loss. But politics are also emerging here as talk focuses on a contentious issue, gun control in America. Our team coverage begins once again with our Washington Bureau Chief, Eric Swanson. Eric? Robin, uh, President Obama is coming here to Newtown, Connecticut tonight, where he will comfort a grieving nation, though there is mounting pressure on him to do more than that. Barack Obama on his way to Newtown for tonight's service. At a time of national mourning, the president is consoler in chief. The dreary day suited the mood here. The grief stricken community, a long way from coming to terms with what happened. The gunman shot his way into the school, but police, almost mercifully, are still saying little else. The school was, was he forcibly entered the school facility itself, okay, encountered, um, just encountered staff students and the tragedy occurred. That, that's as much as I want to go. I'm sorry. Adam Lanza had several guns, the assault rifle, his weapon of choice, firing hundreds of bullets as he slaughtered children and teachers. You can't get these children out of your mind. It's, and what about the gun he used? We have to get we have to get healed first. At this shrine to the dead, someone added anti-gun sentiments later removed. It's not the issue. Yeah, it's not. For some, don't seize on guns now. I don't think restrictions on guns have anything to do with this. Is it too soon to talk about guns? Oh no. I think this has been going on for a long time. For others, now is the time to speak out on the unprecedented gun violence in this country. We need to stand up and wake people up and talk about this. Innocent lives were taken on Friday. That's a tough topic. You think the public mood is changing? Yes, I do. And I think it's time that they address it. Come on, let's go. Thank you. And for some, that's where President Obama comes in. He has spoken twice since the shooting and said this both times. We're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this from happening. Regardless of the politics. Regardless of politics. This governor of a pro-gun state says it's time to talk about new laws. You know, the discussions around assault weapons and high-capacity magazines, those kinds of things, I think those discussions are going to happen, I mean, in real time over the next couple months. Perhaps, but that means overcoming the powerful, influential pro-gun lobby in this country. I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime, though. No. I think the culture is just too strong. Uh, the gun culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some 300 million guns in this country. That's about one gun per person in the United States. If there are going to be changes to the gun laws, they will not come easily or quickly. Robin? Eric, while this investigation continues, the police there are juggling some security issues. What are the details? Well, there was a bomb threat at a local church uh, today here in Newtown. Uh, police evacuated and no bomb was found. Uh, the police say that there have been several hoaxes, uh, particularly on social media, where people have done things like posing as the shooter or putting out threats and misinformation. The police say these are crimes which uh, they will investigate and prosecute. Eric Sorensen reporting tonight. Thanks very much, Eric.